All right, time for the math. Easy solution here. This is something that's pretty useful, uh, actually. Uh, Microsoft Excel. We're gonna convert the time format to a number based on show how it works and and also how to change. Let's say if you have like something in Excel like a time format, like hours, minutes, seconds, into cumulative hours or cumulative minutes, total seconds, and whatnot. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have. Well, let's go the other way around first. Let's go if you have 0.58. If you convert this to a time in Excel, what do you what do you think you get? Equals what? Well, we're just gonna drag this in. First, I'll show you what it does. So if we put, let's say, 0 0.58, we're just using uh, this Office to 2007. So put 0 0.58. If I go to change this format into, let's say, time. Yeah, this is 155.12. So basically, yeah, this is a, what PM. So basically, what, what, why? So 0.58. I'll show you how to actually get this. So we go to 0.58. This is equal to basically 155.12, basically a PM. Or this is if you were to get the 24-hour clock. This is equal to 13.55.12. So that, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. It just 0.58 can go all the way to this. So basically, how to get this? So what you have to know with Excel, with with uh, when you convert to a number. So basically, go back here. So that's time format. Go general number is just 0.58. So basically, what it does here is, if you have a time value like this, if you want to convert it into basically a number, this gets a fraction of a day, of a 24-hour day. 24 hour day. So what I mean by that is, this is uh, yeah, it's basically a fraction of a 24 hour day. So what you have here, so if you have 13 hours, 55 minutes, and 12 seconds, this actually just equals to basically up 58 percent, so 58 percent of a 24 hour day. Of of uh, of a day. And from this, we can convert it into a, and so if this is 58% of a day then and we know that basically one day is equal to base 24 hours yeah it's basically equal to 24 hours and one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds from these ratios we can basically get to the, get from here to this so that 0.58 is so it's basically 0.58 of a day, so 0.58 of a day. And then uh, let's say we have, we have yeah, like 0.58 of a day. Then we're going to times it by, if we want to get hours, we'll just go times it by basically 24 hours divided by day. So per one day is 24 hours. If we multiply it out here, uh, we're actually going to get, let's, let's just grab, grab this over here. Yeah, so right here scroll down here 0 0.58 we'll just go equals to well 0 0.58 times this is 24 hours so we're gonna go 24 so basically now we have 13.92 so we're gonna have 13 hours let's we'll go 13 hours uh, plus point this is basically plus 0 0.92 of an hour 0.92 hours or whatnot. So basically, now we know this is the 13 that goes there, and then the 0.92 hours we're gonna get it to minutes times by basically 60 minutes over one hour. This equals to we're basically gonna go equal to 0.92 times 60. So that's 55.2. So this equals to well 55 minutes, and then plus 0.2 minutes. This is this way of writing it. And so we have this so far. We have the 55, we have the 13, uh, and now we have a 0.2, and we know that again 0.2 minutes times by yeah, based times by 60 seconds over basically one minute. This is going to equal to well. Let's just plug it in again. This should be point. This should be twelve. So basically, equals to point two times sixty, and that's twelve. So that's sixty. Um, it, 
Yeah, so then this equals to 12 seconds. So then we put them all together, we get basically 0.58 uh, 0.58 days or over, over day 0.58 days equals to basically 13 hours or just like that 55 minutes and 12 seconds so that's the time and this if you have it in the 12 hour uh, clock mode this is 1 55 12 p.m. so that's a quick way of getting it so if, and if you have let's say this Let's say uh, today is 23, or actually let's go with 8, 14, let's say, and uh, 0, 0, just say 8, 8, 14 a.m., or actually p.m. So then if 8, 14 p.m., let's just derive what it should be right now. So we know that, yeah, so we can get from, from 8, 14 p.m. to the number. Let's just get the number right now. So we're going to have right here. So basically 8, 14, this is just an example right here then, example 8, 14 p.m. to number. So basically, oh, so we just have to get the, the, the fraction, so we're going to have to break this down. This is, so there's zero seconds in there, so we're going to go like basically 8, eight hours of, of, of 24, so there's 24 hours in a day, so we're going to have eight hours divided by 24 hours is it's in a day because basically we're going to get to f the number is a fraction of a day so basically times by right here is one day is 24 hours so one day over 24 hours we're going to get right here this should be we'll go right here eight divided by 24 whoops Point three three three, so uh, yeah, so it's, it's it's like that. So we get basically point three three going on forever. Put that up there, and then we have this fourteen here. Fourteen minutes, and then uh, so we got to get it to a fraction of a day, which equals to basically we will, we got to get to day. So we have to first go to the hours first. So we'll go with one hour, sixty minutes. And then to get the hours to the day, we just go one day, 24 hours. So we got to divide by 60 and divide by 24. So we're going to go right here. This equals to 14 divided by 60 divided by 24. And then this one is equals to 0 0.0927. We add these two up. Yes, yeah, so basically we'll just write it here. 0 0.09, was it 27 or something? Oh, seven two. Nine seven two. And nine seven two two. So now you gotta add these up because there's both so we we broke eight down a fraction of a day and then minutes. So we just add these up. Add them up. And we're gonna get if you add these up, these will equal two this plus this. This is equal to point three four no if three zero five six. And now let's just convert this to see if we get it right. On uh, general. Oh, there you go. It's the same thing. Actually, no, this is, uh, oh, I made a mistake right here. Actually, this was, yeah, so remember, this this was in p.m. I had this in p.m. This is time. This is 8 p.m. So if I put an a.m., and then, uh, yeah, it, it would have been, and they convert this one to general, it would have been right. So, yeah, that's 3, 4. So that's the only difference because this is converted to 24-hour clock. Let's go change this to PM. What would it be? P. This one's just going to be, well, 8 plus 12. That's what we would have changed it to, plus the initial first 12 hours of the day. So 8, 3, 3, then this is 8, 4. So we convert this one. Well, there you Yeah, that's all I have. So basically, now you understand how it works. This one, just more digits. Let's go with expand it. Yeah, it's the same thing. So. Uh, let's do uh, another example actually it's just a quick one uh, let's say if we have again 8 14 p.m. let's say how many seconds let's get it to seconds uh, let's say basically how much seconds is this if you were counting from zero as basically the start of the day is zero seconds and how many seconds has, has elapsed so basically to get from here remember these are hours these are minutes there's no seconds in this one so we don't add them 
So all we gotta do is convert eight hours to seconds and then add them to basically 14 minutes to seconds. Just add these up. So what I mean by this one, then this one you just have eight. So this is gonna be equal to eight hours times by, well, how many hours, um, how many seconds an hour? Well, we know that 60 minutes is in an hour. And we know that 60 seconds is in a minute. So this will get, if you can't, these units cancel, this hours cancel, we'll have the seconds. Then we can do the same thing for the minutes. Well, 14 minutes, uh, basically, you have 14 minutes times 60 seconds over a minute. I mean, yeah, over a minute. And these cancel, and you're left with seconds. So this one, if you times these all out, these ones you're basically going to get equals 8 times 60 uh, times 60 plus 14 times 60. And there you have, you have 29640. 29640 and also what you could do here is basically uh, this is basically seconds of the day well how many uh, seconds are in a total day in a 24 hours we have actually uh, say I'm getting up times by 60 minutes times 60 second this is over hour over minute so in one day, so basically one day is equal to 24 hours times that, which equals to, just write this down, this is just to show you what I'm going to get at over here. So 8640, and here this is 86400, this is seconds in a day. And then if we fraction these out, we'll have actually uh, the fraction of a of of the whole day, so 640 divided by 86. This is a, now. Now we're just going to get a fraction of a day. This equals two. This divided by this, and three four zero five six, like what I had before. If you convert this into again a uh, number, oh, that's a three again. So this is a.m. Actually, again, I made a mistake. This is a.m. It's a three four. And then general, we'll just get this general, and it's the same thing here. But if you were to do PM, you would just go here. This is eight again. It's gonna be plus twelve. This is instead of twelve. You add the twelve hours. Seven two eight four zero. So that's uh, that's all for yeah. So basically, and then you get eight four zero to six. And if you change this to Time and this is the same as before p.m. and then change it back to general so yeah that, that is basically what it does again make it bigger yeah so basically uh, yeah that's that's all for for today and um, hopefully you learned uh, yeah basically this is pretty pretty useful uh, to learn this and convert seconds and whatnot you may need to use it I had to use it for some application at, at school and whatnot so basically that's all for today hopefully you learn and stay tuned for another math easy solution